our two speakers. Some of you know them from Chabonos Church a long time ago. There's Pastor Wayne and his wife, Sister Deborah. How many of you know, remember them from long time ago? Remember? Ah, only do, only do, only do, only do. Well, we're not sure. Uh, we're not sure. Probably going to try that. I remember her. Yeah, I remember you. I remember her. Right. So, today our topic is marriage. Is that great? Great thing. Miss one of the words. Great, huh? Good morning. It's great to be here to share with you about the goodness of God. As Pastor Henry shared, my name is Wayne Thomas, and I'm here with my wife. Next week, Wednesday, we will be celebrating 31 years of marriage on the 31st of March. So truly, we are here to talk about a great, marriage is a great thing. Amen? And we believe that if we are to chat or talk about a great thing of marriage, the best source that we could go to is God himself. Right? And if we are talking about marriage and about God being a great thing, marriage being a great thing, the best book we could look at is where it all began, the book of Genesis. Okay, so we will be looking at Genesis. We are laying the foundation right and i'm reading from genesis chapter 2 right i'm reading from genesis chapter 2 i'm starting from verse 7 all right and the lord god formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul. And that will take us to our first slide. Creation. Okay. So God created man. And there is an accompanying scripture in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 to 28. Right. When God said, let us breathe into man or let us create man in our own image and after our own likeness. And I'm declaring here that that man there was male and female. Right, so both male and female was created in the image and likeness of God. And not only that, but he gave them, Genesis 1, 26 to 28, it says he gave them dominion or rulership or kingship over his creation. Authority. 
authority, right? So they had authority over the birds, over the fishes, over every creeping thing. The only part of God's creation that man did not have dominion over was each other. Okay, so male did not have dominion over female, nor female have dominion over male. Right, so that's the creation story. Next slide. Right, so the next thing God did, right? The Bible said God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and he put man in the garden. This is male man now, male. He put the male in the garden. Right, so in the garden now, right, ma the male have to live. So he was given the responsibility to dress it and to keep it. So he had work to do. Right? So the male, right, that God created, right, he had work and he had responsibility and he had commitment. So you learn that first in the home. You learn it in the home and also the work environment, the workplace. Responsibility and commitment. Okay, so this man has to live. This man has to work. He's working, right? But one of the things he also learned in working, verse 16, it said, And the Lord commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou may freely eat, but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. So what God... So what God was teaching this man here is discipline that comes out of knowing boundaries. So as a, as a male man, you have to be disciplined. There are certain things that you're not supposed to do. There are certain places that you're not supposed to go, especially when it, has, when it comes in direct conflict with what God says. So you learn, as, as we say in, in our own language here, behave yourself.
Now we're going through the, the, the principle here. So you have this man, he working, he know about commitment, right? He's a disciplined man. Right? But God say, this is God say, and it is and God said, it is not good that man be alone. Male man be alone. I will make him and help meet for him. All right? I will make him what? A help meet for him. And it is this is the foundation here. Right? He caused man to go into a sleep. And this simply means that man is not in control. When you are sleeping, you are not in control. This is a principle. So he make him a help meet which would have been female. Male, marriages between male and female. I'm going to say that again. Male and female. I'm going to say it again. Marriages between male and female. Right, so, and the female that is coming in matrimony with the male is equal in terms of God's creation. Because remember, our, one of our first scriptures, Genesis 1, 26 to 28, he gave both of them Right? He gave male and female the same commission. And that is to have rulership over the earth. Not rulership over each other. So the wedding or the marriage, right, male and female, and God said that I will make him a help meet, and that means someone to work with you. Now, the man who is marrying must be doing something of substance because the wife or the female that is coming to be his wife have to help him do what he is doing so this here this foundational truth here it cancels out idleness So if I am a single man and I want a wife, I have to be responsible. I have to be working. I must understand and know boundaries. So that the female who is coming is coming to someone who is already doing something, and may I say for God. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, you females. You all want to marry a lazy man? <laughs> right. Eh? You all want to marry a lazy man with no money? And no place to live? <laughs> okay so no right no okay you men you men D did you all see what the woman said Right. So that, that means as a male man, I must be keeping a garden, dressing it, keeping it. Now, in this time, it was a garden. In our time, it may be your job. It may be your company. It may be the place where you live. You must be able to dress it and keep it. Your home. Okay, how many men have their own home? No. Even if, okay, even if you don't have your own home, what about your own room? Are you taking care of it? So you have to take care of it. If you're renting, with your parents and have your room take care. Take care. Make sure. Okay, ladies. What about a uh, a man who have his own room or his own house, but he's not taking care of it? Windows falling down, termite cheating. And he want to marry you. <laughs> Roof leaking. Rotten floor. <laughs> oh, you have a car. It always shutting down. <laughs> you all want that? Man, you man, you see that? about never having any money always broken
Right. So, and that takes us to our last scripture, which crowns it off. When God said, therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh. Verse 24. Because after a man has done these things, he's able now to leave mommy and daddy, meaning that He no longer depends on mommy and daddy or uncle or auntie or grandma or grandma or grand or, 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 or grand mommy. But he's able to provide for himself and his wife. Therefore, shall a man leave his mother and father and shall cleave to his wife and they shall be one flesh. Right? One flesh. One flesh here mean that they could know, they know, could, 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 could come together in holy matrimony, right? And have sex. Right, because he has fulfilled his responsibility. Yeah. Not going back. Not going back. To mommy and daddy. Because you can't have, you have a wife, and every Monday or every Tuesday, you're going back to mommy or daddy to ask for money, to ask for something. No. He leave. That is what leave mean. Yeah. Because remember, Wait. if if the wife sick, you go back where mommy and ask for help. Wait, wait, wait. You want me to stop what money? Mm-hmm. Money. Say that again. No, the man now could provide for his wife and family. 
That is responsibility. No, very wise. By doctor, because. Ah, Call my father. Mommy, daddy, pray for me. I carry my wife. Yes. I have money. gets a house and she meets him he do have a house you, you, you really want to marry him that's the question if he don't have no house and not working he working he working <laughs> but even even if he don't have, a house, have a house does he have a plan to get one if his goal his plan is to get a house and it must be workable. It must be a good plan that he has. And if the house he's living in, if he rented or he's living with his parents, if he's taking good care of it. Yeah. If it, if the house when it, when they come to visit him, dirty, and he um, Korean. Let's say let's say he bought food, working right, busy working working. To buy food. When you finish it, you throw the bottle and you see the roach all over. You want to marry them? <laughs> hey, no, oh boy. You see how fast I'm going, huh? Yes. <laughs> you don't want to marry them because you're not, you're not responsible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you clean the house. All right, come on, come on. <laughs> Aspect, one and part. He will get the other. Okay, okay, okay. I'm doing what was he? He back up. Seven? Yes? How much? I have a plan. Mm -hmm. How much? I have a plan. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. yeah. Let me read, let me read. Mm -hmm. All right, you're coming to the other. Mm -hmm. Thanks. 
this this guy has a we, we, no no remember remember we share some basic principles for you to look at that could guide you question how many of us does eat Portugal Okay, just imagine you go to buy a Portugal. And when you go to peel it, two pegs missing. Will you still buy it? Right. So, it's the same thing. If you are marrying, just think about a Portugal with different segments, but it all joined together. Because he could have a house or, or he could have money. But he don't know or he don't have discipline. Or he could be disciplined in doing some things but treats you or sees female as below him. Right? So the, 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 the principles that we have shared or that we are sharing they all come together and it is a guide for both male and female. Because remember the last scripture, it says the man should cleave unto his wife, which is one. So he can't cleave or she can't cleave to his wife and another woman. Claire, that is very, very important. And same thing, she cannot cleave to her husband and somebody else, her next man.
That is wrong. But that is sin. God don't like that. Something is being explained here is you're married and you're mm. nothing, nothing else. All right, watch. Where's you, you all seen, right? Where's he, where's he writing? Come now. Let, 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 let me show you what he's writing. How it works. Let me see if you get it. You get it. She has a boyfriend. And they married. She come to live. You come to live in the house. No. You're married and you move up. You move in or you move out. That's a family house. So you're married and you stay there? No. Wait, wait. See what it is? Married and you come. No, no, no. Family house, parents' house. And they live in, they grow up in the house together. The parents die. And chef. I got abs. Oh. They get land outside of the building. Yeah. And they see me out. And they see me out. Yeah, they see me out. They see me out. They see me out. They see me out. You understand the question there? Right? And we have an extended family and you just set it up. Shot. Okay? Yes. Second principle, husband takes care of the making a provision. Alright. Mm. Yes, we had an answer of course and then he'll come. Alright. 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 Now those cups. Watch, watch, watch now. Right. In the same same yard, husband take wife and get and provide for his wife. Ah, I want to call him back. Come on. I want to say. Come on. <laughs> he said this is not really here. <laughs> He's just being his own example. Then he. Right. Yeah. This, is, this is the man and the woman. She, as 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 a Stacy example, they grew up in the house. The, the parents die, finish. So all the children there, and she meets him. He had a big work in. Yeah. Remember Adam? Adam God said you responsible for he had a big work in. He had a big house or he rented, and he. Save any money, taking care. So when when he come on a date, see ya. Alright. No, 
boy, that's the name. No. Ooh. Yeah. Hmm. He's comfortable. Now watch. If it's a boy, if it's a man who is living, who, who grew up here, and the parents die, and he bring what, bring girlfriend here, no. <laughs> he, he go, he move out. This is important. I'm out. And he married. Don't stay here. How? Oh. Children house. Well, maybe maybe the family that make an agreement and they, they, they rent it all. They rent the house or if alright. My my own thing what happened? My family have a house, but before I married, I went to rent. And then I married. So I bring my wife rent and then we buy a house. So he if he if he, if he likes the girl here or his family house, he do a house and he married and a house. That is from God's will. Thank you. Remember the scripture is he leave and cleave. A man should leave and cleave. So the man should leave. So we 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 close along for today. Interesting, interesting. Really? <laughs> For me, I am happy to see some of you here. Understanding, you excited. I see the excitement. So I want to see the fulfilling that it happen with you. That if you decide, if you decide to marry, you follow the, 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 the principles. principles, and your marriage will be more perfect. You don't have anything to start about. So thank you for having me. God bless you. Mm. Um. You want to get married, buddy? Right? <laughs> excited, excited, excited. Yeah, man. We're running for the line. We're running for the married line. <laughs> Um, it's truly um, important. Thank you mm -hmm. for all the principles you explained. Mm -hmm. All the all the confusing mm -hmm. examples of mm -hmm. the Bible mm -hmm. needs to become mm -hmm. our example for our lives. Mm -hmm. to, to understand mm -hmm. the Bible mm -hmm. is what mm -hmm. I principle my life by. Mm -hmm. We must try and work towards it. Let it become the standard bearer of mm -hmm. our lives. Mm -hmm. It's the best mm -hmm. thing. It's mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. I thought, mm -hmm. I, I was I was excited. I don't know if you're excited as me, but I am not part of this. There will be problems. Mm -hmm. You get constant. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be an easy life. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. God bless you more mm -hmm. as you follow mm -hmm. these principles. Mm -hmm. I go back. All of us, Jeff, yeah, Aaron, need to follow the same um, principles. Thank you. You want to say I sign together, see together. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Wayne, very, 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 very much. God bless you and your wife. <laughs> oh, sorry. Next, next fellowship, we continue it. Right, so we're going to add to what we learned today. Next. One. So remember, tell your friends to come. Yeah. We want to more people to learn the same thing that they learned today. Right? So remember, invite your other deaf friends to come. Mm. Right? And not just my people, single people. Well, next time, you got to be very honest with the people. Right? Remember, 
not only the, the deaf people to invite, or not only married people, but single, single. single people and couple. Right? Thank you.